So hello everyone, in this video we will be doing face detection using media pipe, just like the ones that you are seeing on the screen right now. Now if you don't already know, media pipe offers a lot of features like face detection, pose estimation and so many, which you could just see here in a few lines of code. So the first thing that we need to do is to install media pipe, which is pip install media pipe and this is the pipe project. Okay, so now we need to import media pipe as MP and then import OpenCV for image manipulation. Now I am going to show you all the features that media pipe face detection offers using an image. Only then we will scale it up to a video. The reason is so that we can focus on implementation and not on the extra OpenCV code that needs to be written for processing a video. Okay, now we read the image using the OpenCV's CV2 imread function. The image that we are going to use is this one which I got from the internet. Uh, as you can see in this video that there are quite a number of people here and obviously not all will be detected but let's see. Now one more thing that I wanted to add, the image was quite large so I had to resize it to 600 plus 600 so that it fits on the desktop screen. Now we have to define some functions which the media pipe module itself provides. So the first function is detection which is the main class for the face detection and we will store it in the variable mp underscore face underscore detection. The second function that we need is the drawing class which is mp.solutions.drawingutils or utilities and we will store it in the mp underscore drawing variable. After this we need to instantiate the face detection class. Now one more important thing to note here is that model underscore selection is equal to 1 which means that we are interested in detecting faces more than 2 meters away from the camera. If we want to detect faces closer than 2 meters then we have to use 0 instead of 1. Another parameter that we set here is the min underscore confidence parameter which is 0.5. This means that it would only consider a bounding box if it is more than 50% sure that there exists a face else it will not. Now I have to tell you that I have used the same variable names as that of the example given in the media pipe documentation as it will help you to be consistent if you want to implement this by yourself. Next this is the function that we are going to use to detect faces in the image. So the process function actually finds all the faces in the image and returns the detected face bounding box coordinates and also the coordinates of eyes, mouth, ears and nose. One more thing that is important here to know is that CV2 uses the BGR format or blue, green, red format but MediaPipe uses the standard RGB format so we have to convert BGR to RGB for MediaPipe to process it. Now we are going to make a copy of the real image so that the changes that we bring in the new image is not reflected in the original image. If we look into the results and use results.detection, we see that we get a lot of information regarding the bounding boxes. Now let's see the data that we are getting. So as you can see we are getting three faces as there are three elements of data. And for each element we first have the label id or serial number, the confidence score which reflects how confident the model was predicting the particular face. Then we have an actual bounding box data, which you can see here has 4 attributes and don't worry I'll go through each of them one by one. So first is the x min and second is y min. These are the normalized coordinates of the top left corner of the bounding box. By normalized I mean the real x coordinate divided by the image width which is x min and real y coordinate divided by the image height which is y min. The third and the fourth are the width and height of the bounding box, again normalized by the width and height of the image. So now let's get all of this in code. First the number of people detected is just len of results.detections as we saw earlier. Then let's say we are going to print the description of all the bounding boxes. Then iterate for every detection in the results.detections and print the id of the bounding box we are working with. Then print the confidence score of the bounding box we are considering right now. Since the values that we got as part of a result is in a very nested form, we have shorthanded the form as just the variable box. Then we start with taking the top left corner as x start and y start that we had seen a few moments ago which was x min into image width and y min into image height. Then x end and y end are the bottom right coordinates which are x min plus box width into image width and y min plus box height into image height. So now is the time to verify that our x start, y start and x and y end are correct or not. So we make a rectangle using cv2.rectangle function and give it the start and end coordinates and have a color of green. If you see the results still here, we have three bounding boxes. 
Now we can move forward with the other data points that the media pipe face detection function offers. Well, it offers six key points nose, mouth, right eye, left eye, right ear, and left ear. And the way to access each one of them is this code. Focus here to see that only the last part of the code changes. Like for nose, you have nose underscore tip. So you can draw these points individually using the cv2.circle functions, but the easier method would be to use the mp underscore drawing class that we saw earlier. So for that, we write mp underscore drawing dot draw underscore detection and in the brackets annotated image comma detection. At last, we can show this image with the bounding box and the points detected as you can see in red here. The points of different features can be written in a CSV file and can be used later for different purposes. Now let's quickly write the code for face detection in a video. So just as before, import media pipe and CV2 and write the media pipe functions. Now we can use the video file that I have and you can see this is the video file and I have named it vid.mp4. For webcam, just write zero instead of the video file. Instantiate the mp underscore face underscore detection class with model selection equal to zero and min detection confidence as 0.5. Now check whether the cap is ready or not and put it in a while loop. Then read individual frames using cv2.read function. Then also check whether the frame is invalid or not using red double equal to false and if yes then break. Again convert the color from bgr to rbg and make a new image called temp underscore frame. Use the process function of face detection and pass the image. We then get the results back in the results variable. Then we need to check if we have found bounding boxes or not. And if yes, draw the landmarks. Also, get the confidence score and put it in the image using cv2.putText function just above the bounding boxes. Lastly, we show the frame and write the condition for untimely break. At the last, release the capture and close all the windows once we are done. Now if you review the results, we see that we have found the bounding boxes. You can also see the confidence scores as the video plays. So that's it, please subscribe and I'll be back with another video as soon as possible. Code is available on GitHub type datum coding media pipe face detection to access it. Thank you very much.